The Passive House Academy has been uh, training architects and engineers all across the US about the Passive House consultant program for the last 18 months and now we're really delighted to bring the Passive House tradesperson course to New York. We partnered with the Association for Energy Affordability and we're running our first program there in the summer of 2012. We had a great experience recently from a wonderful group of Passive House builders and contractors from as far flung as Canada, California, Philadelphia, New York and we spent a week with them. It was very much a hands-on experience where they learned how to build to this exacting Passive House standard and we're going to hear more from those participants in a few moments to see how they get on. It's been incredible. I've been, I've been uh, eating and breathing Passive House for the past two and a half years and this has been the most in-depth um, and productive uh, course that I've taken so far. We came to Passive House Academy because uh, so often is the case, Passive House is developed in the a German language and then slowly translated to English. But Passive House Academy has gone another way to actually develop a trade trading course in English and also Imperial IP units as well as metric. And so we have the advantage now of actually coming directly to them and learning in our native tongue as well as native measurements. The Passive House tradesperson training involves a combination of theory delivered in classrooms and practice delivered in the building laboratory. And in the building lab we have a set of models which we use for demonstration purposes to discuss the, the, how Passive House construction is achieved but also particularly for hands-on practice so that the tradespeople can work out and learn to deliver the particular requirements of the Passive House standard involving for example continuity of insulation and of air tightness. And here in the stick frame model, we have an airtight this membrane here running continuously on the inside, but also we can see here how insulation has been packed very, very tightly. And there's no room here for, for lax construction types. So two key aspects then are our airtightness continuity and insulation continuity in the construction, but also the elimination of thermal bridges. And in this instance, we have uh, insulation wrapped around the window frame it returns in and overlaps the frame and likewise the taping and the membrane are all related and are all used as critical tools for achieving the standards. What I liked about the tradesman course is really um, the hands-on stuff out in the, in, the, in the lab and I wish we would have had more days of those. I could have spent another week there. We would recommend to our friends and our colleagues that they take this class first because you get to touch things and understand things and it gives you a really holistic understanding of how things flow. But here you actually get to see air tightness and tapes and membranes and measurements and HRVs, heat recovery ventilators. You get to see all the components in action and touch and feel them and talk to experts in the field. It has been incredible. Passive House Tradesperson Training offers two strands of learning. One is to do with the building envelope and the other to do with mechanical systems or building services. And these two types of learning overlap and they complement one another. They're critically important together in regard to achieving the Passive House Standard on site. The knowledge that I've gotten about energy and how it's used inside of a building, I believe that I, I always came from the idea making systems create the efficiency in a building and what I feel is so appropriate with Passive House is looking at the envelope as a system. And I never considered a system being the outside part of a building before, but it affects all the other systems. So now I can put it all together. The building services training includes the assembly of ductwork, but also the learning to, to balance out the heat recovery ventilation system in terms of airflow and the commissioning of the entire system. An integral part of the Passive House training for both the mechanical services and building envelope is learning the principles of achieving an airtightness test. So why might you take this certified Passive House tradesperson training? Well, the reality is that the Passive House standard is recognised globally as the, the most demanding or the most exacting 
uh, building standard. So it's the standard of the future and if you know how to build to the passive house standard then you really know your stuff in terms of energy efficiency. Also the training is globally accredited by the Passive House Institute and so that's a, a, a passport if you like that you can take anywhere in the world uh, with your knowledge and hopefully improve your employment prospects. Mm -hmm.